Yes people, what is going on? I'm Liam Cox from Tech House Market and today we're going to go over some key factors of music theory. So we're going to cover the importance of scales, notes and how some can be better than others for your Tech House productions. So let's dive straight in. So we're going to kick things off by talking about scales and how important they are to your track and how they can change the feel of them massively. If we start with the two most popular scales, which is major and minor. Major scales, when you listen to, for example, a chord progression in a major scale, it can sound quite happy and sort of cheerful, whereas a minor scale is a bit more darker, a bit more moody. And in house music, 99% of that is minor. So if you have a starting point in your track, like a certain note or or a certain vocal that you want to use then you should always go for minor when creating house music as otherwise it will be like really happy and cheerful and that's not the sort of vibe that we're going after to show you guys this i've got two chord progressions here that i've just quickly made both of them start with the note c and i believe they go to f and g so the first one is all major chords and the second one is all minor chords and i just want you to listen to how it makes you feel and the sort of vibe of the chord progression and how different they are to each other so this is the major chord So quite happy, cheerful compared to the minor chord. So as you can hear, a bit more sort of darker, a bit more emotional, moody, which is exactly what we want when creating house music, tech house, progressive house, whatever. That's the first thing to keep in mind when choosing your scale. So we can actually take this a step further and use another different type of scale, which again is very popular with tech house producers. And this is called the Phrygian scale. Basically the only difference between this and minor is that the second note in the scale is just down one semitone and all the rest of the notes are the same. And it just basically gives another different feel darker than a regular minor scale would. And I'm gonna show you guys an example of this. I've just got a drum loop going on here and then I've got like a sort of rhythm just some stabs in the key of F minor well the first piece of audio you're gonna hear is in F minor and then the second part will be in the Phrygian scale instead of minor so visually you can see the only difference here is the second note in minor it's on G and then in the Phrygian it's in F sharp and that's the only difference but I'm gonna give this a play and then I want you guys to sort of hear and sort of make a mental note of what's going on and sort of what the differences are between these and what you can hear. So this one is the minor, then it will go into the Phrygian. <laughs> So as you can hear, the Phrygian scale, just because of that one note that's been changed, gives a more like darker, sort of clubbier feel, is a bit more moody than the minor scale. To hear this even more clear, if I leave in these notes, if we take these middle three out of both of them, then we can probably hear even more what's going on. So when you compare this Phrygian scale to the minor, the minor almost sounds like really happy now compared to what we've got here with the Phrygian scale. And it's all because this one note change from the G to the F sharp. So whatever scale you're in, so if you're in like C minor, for example, if this rule works for any of the minor scales, so you literally just take the second note and then you drop it down one semitone and then you're in the Phrygian scale and you can achieve this sort of dark moodiness that a lot of producers sort of have in their tracks. And this has been very popular over the last like two or three years. A lot of like the top producers use this like trick and use this scale to sort of achieve that feel in their productions. But yeah, give this a go guys, see what results you can get for this. So next we're going to cover notes and root notes and how important these can be in making your Tech House record and also which ones are more popular than others and why. To start off with this, again I've got another example and then I've got two sort of bass lines here. One of them is in D sharp and one of them is in C. I'm going to play the bass lines first and then you guys can sort of see and hear what's going on and the differences. The 
the one in D sharp is obviously a lot more sort of deeper, heavier, basically everything you want from your bass line in a record. Whereas the one at C is a bit more sort of light and hasn't got as much power behind it. And basically this is because the D is obviously lower down on the keyboard than the C. So it's going to give a lot more sort of sub and sort of power when you play it compared to the C. So the main sort of notes that are very popular and work well within the low end in Tech House is like D to F, that sort of area here is basically where you're gonna get the most power and heaviness from your bass lines. Whereas any, if you go to the C down here, it's a bit too low, so you don't get the high end presence as well that you would get from like a D or an F. Whereas this one is sort of too high, so it's hard to find which one to go for. Whereas if you have like a D or an E or an F, something like that, then that's gonna provide the best of both worlds. So you're gonna get the heaviness and the power that you need from the bass, as well as the sort of high end presence. And I'm also gonna show you this within span. So this will basically show you which frequencies bass line is hitting. And I'm gonna compare it from, again, the D sharp to the C and you guys can sort of visually see what's going on here. So we're going to start with the D sharp. So as you can see, the D sharp is providing a lot of power and a lot of frequency in this sort of 40 to 60 range, which is where the sub and the power is going to come from. Whereas as soon as we go to the C, we're not really getting anything below 60 here. It's all like above 70 or above which is basically gonna provide not enough sub for when your track is being played in the clubs and it's gonna sound weak compared to others. So it's really important when sort of picking the key of your track or if you're starting with like a vocal or a synth, for example, and you wanna build like a track around it, if it's in C, for example, maybe try sort of boosting up the vocal like two or three semitones to like a D or a D sharp, just see how it sounds because then you can have like a much more solid bass line and your record will sound better from the off or if you have like a vocal in a for example try like pitching it down like three semitones see how it sounds and have fun with it but remember that this isn't like a rule to live by but it's just the general rule of thumb that these sort of notes between D and F are gonna work better for your low end, especially, than these higher up notes. But sometimes records work with A's or B's compared to others, but yeah, just have a play around and see what works. But these are the most popular ones here. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. And remember, this isn't a sort of rule to live by. This is just the basics, how some notes can sound better than others and how they can provide more power and heaviness to your track and also like the major and minor and the Phrygian scales. These aren't things that you have to do but these are things that a lot of people are doing and it's very popular and it can really help the overall sort of feel and vibe of your track. But like I say, have fun with it, get creative with it and see what you can come up using these scales and notes. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, make sure to comment below what you want to see next. Subscribe to Tech House Market and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.